Hey, hey, we're back with more link regulation. Hope you guys liked that previous video, which should be up by now, hopefully, or not. Anyways, uh, Pancreatas, Nibiru, Afterburners, cross out, Imperm, playing against Salam and Gray. I don't know why people say salad. Should I just call them salami, right? Meat product? I don't know. It's clearly not a vegetarian kind of deck. So we're going to add Sanctuary, of course. You could Imperm that, but you usually save the Imperm for the Gazelle, because Gazelle can add Trap, and that's way more annoying to deal with. In my opinion, right? So they're gonna pitch Spinny. Get the Foxy back. They're going to Splash Mage. That's interesting, right? So they're assuming they're going for Cold Talker. Luckily, we have Imperm. Hopefully, they don't have Cross Out. And they don't. That's okay. We have Nib anyways, just in case. Hope you all are doing well. So they have a set. True Spell Trap. Who knows? We're gonna draw Ash. Low key MVP. <laughs> no Ray, no play, right? So. <laughs> Uh, it's hilarious. They're gonna chain Maxi. Don't ash it. Doesn't matter. We're not gonna special summon for the rest of the turn. We're gonna go boop him. We're gonna set the cross out and just pray until we see Ray. Pray till we see Ray. <laughs> uh, we're obviously gonna ash that because we're very low resources and I'm willing to take that risk. Right? We don't want them to add something stupid. They can go into the link one. Right? If they have a monster, they have it. And it looks like they don't. They're just gonna pass turn. Draw another nib. <laughs> uh, of the day I'm filming this, my team lost, as you can see from my sweater. But that's okay. All the other teams lost too. But we're not losing in this gameplay video, of course, because this is literally my event, right? <laughs> we draw a cyclone. Doesn't matter. Just end their battle. Keep booping them. They die next turn. All right. Just keep booping, keep booping. Hopefully you guys are doing way better than me. Hopefully you're all diamond by now. I'm sorry. I'm just so slow. Hit the call by Hoopla. Well, it doesn't matter. We drew this. Cool. Keep popping. You're gonna attack microcoder. Two mystery cards. So I'm assuming it's Nib or maybe another Maxi. Or Ash, I guess. Right, they're gonna set another one. Maybe it's a handy, maybe it's something else. Shark Cannon, no rain, no play. It's literally been 10 turns. Remember, we play like 12 starters. <laughs> right, three Ray, two Rose, Horny Drone, double and Gag, Rhoda. We're just gonna keep attacking, gang. Low key MVP, Pancratops. You're on the fence about Pancratops? Here's the reason why. It's 2600. Oh, there we found you to engage. So now we go for the kill. We're gonna boop that. They don't have call by. We're also gonna boop that just in case. As an imperm, we're gonna engag. We have to protect Ash with that. We're gonna chain cross out, obviously, and then that's probably it. And he just quit. I know. Very interesting. Very riveting. On to the next one. We have returned. Hello, hello. Also, I have new sleeves. That's really cool. Really, Maxi, Rhoda, Cyclone, Widow Anchor. Another one. Another Salamani. We're gonna chain Maxi anyway, so. Either they pass turn on a buffalo or gotta keep popping off when you decide to keep popping off. You can also potentially veil it this again, but I prefer to veil it the gazelle. Gazelle's more annoying for trap, right? Sure, they have field spell, whoop de do. If it's just a sitting monster, we get rid of it. Don't worry about it. They're just gonna set that. They have field spell in hand. I'm assuming that's probably the negate or the other one. Right? So we're gonna attempt to banish it out. They're gonna roar us, cool. That's fine. Rota, Rota, Rota. No, no, no. <laughs> what can you do, right? Well, sometimes they have it. I was hoping, please don't do it. Because 95% of the time, people don't ash the Rota. But then they realize it's probably the length event, so. We're gonna have to burn it. Might as well. Now that protection, four mystery cards. Don't set this, why? Because remember, Foxy's in Graveyard. They easily pitch a, you know, Falco, whatever, and just special summon it. And then destroy it anyway, and we lose value. So this is gonna act as bait. You're gonna pop off, set the roar, activate sanctuary, pitch another roar, set summon a foxy, foxy grandpa here, sunlight wolfie, use effect of sanctuary to resummon a, well, link summon another sunlight wolf, get the bonus effect. We're gonna try to veil that. So, two mystery cards. Two mystery cards, gang. 
Enter battle, gonna boop me for 18. Ah! Boop, boop, boop. Please, Ray, 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 Ray. Nope. Pankratops. Pankratops. Remember, Pankratops is uh, just summoned. It's not like an activated effect, so they can't change the negate. We're gonna boop it. It's only stuff like Judgment, where it's like negate the summon, and technically you can. Just gonna keep booping. But I mean, again, we're kind of in like a weird position, right? Just need to buy time. They're gonna Falco. Send this back to Grave. And then Roar, for some reason. <laughs> did they misclick? I don't know why they did that. Please tell me why. Maybe they just so I can reset it. But then I mean, why, right? Maybe they thought it was stupid. I don't know. Uh, they're gonna add back the Roar. They're gonna summon the Veiler. At this point, how could Fibus would exist and we would've been screwed. They're gonna Transco Talker. Of course, this is an opportunity for us to bop it. Otherwise, they're gonna resummon and probably go to Axe Code or something. That will be 53, now it's gone. I'm gonna pop that. End phase pass, so we know they have a Foxy Grandpa in hand, right? And a Salmon Gear Drawers, two cards. We drew another Ash, completely useless. At this point, I'm just gonna fast forward because we've literally tried our best, right? We're gonna Ash that. Hopefully, Brick. We're gonna go Falco, return Foxy Grandpa. Let's recycle it so they can hopefully unbrick themselves. Well, they're not bricking, but you know. They're not exactly killing us either. So set, that's probably Roar. That's a 200 IQ and it's not Roar. We do starter. We have to bait it out. Please take it. They do. Thankfully. I'm going to chain Horned Drones. Please no Mexi. No Mexi. And go Hayaters. I mean, right? They're going to chain Phantasmia. I guess they saw my video. I'm going to boop it. Attempt to boop it. I'm going to chain Send Ray. No Ray, no play. Does I always say. Hopefully I have floating. We're going to go Yellow Ray to at least bait it out. And they do, they're gonna pitch another Phantasmi. <laughs> so I guess the entire time they have Phantasmi. We're gonna go another Ray. We're going to Red Ray to add back our Wood Wanker and attempt to steal and then maybe make Zeke. Nope, we have Ogre. Rip. The one person playing Ogre. We're gonna steal that. Why? Because we're desperate, right? Make Phoenix. Hope they can't beat over it. But we know we have they have Foxy Grandpa and a uh Salmon Gate Roar, right? So, for example, if I, well, obviously, you probably know by now that I lose, right? So, obviously, if I held on to Ash, right? Let's say I hit Foxy Grandpa, and they don't go, they go into Salmon Great uh, Sunlight Wolf, anyways. Remember, you still have, I guess, I guess, uh, that's also fine. They can also go into Sunlight Wolf, but remember, they still have Phantasmi on field to probably prevent, I guess, uh, um, to just beat over anything, anyways. You know, we're only 4,000. So I'm pretty sure we were screwed regardless. Or at least that's my wishful thinking, right? So I'll let it play out so you can see. We go Foxy Grandpa. If we had an Ash, we could have Ashed it. They top deck a circle. So we know one of them is Roar at Mystery Card. Maybe not Gazelle. At this point, there's nothing we can do, right? Yeah. I mean, I could have set the Wood Wanker. Wood Wanker would have been negated anyways by a uh, the Phantasmate, right? So it would have been 24 plus like 18. I don't know. Wishful thinking, right? We chanted last second, maybe to beat over. And it can go to access code anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh well. No Ray, no play, right? <laughs> uh, sorry, gang. I'm sorry, Ray. On to the next one. Alright, Unumas. I'm not showing one where the guy just kind of like misplayed and quit. So, no point. Alright, you're going to set three. I have no idea what this could be. <laughs> we drew Ray, finally. Remember, no Ray, no play. That's what I always say. I'm not a rapper. We're going to Green Ray. Uh, they're going to chain Abominable Chambers. We're going to chain Maxi, because apparently it's unchained. Now we summoned Abdominal Unchained, pitching a Soul of Disaster. Ray comes out from Graveyard. We're gonna go Rose of Dawn, so it looks like we can play around Maxi, or there's no Maxi. Zeke, gonna banish this for a turn. We don't wanna really beat that, but you know, YOLO. So we're gonna add a level 8 Fiend, sure. Doesn't do anything. We're obviously not gonna destroy that until we know we can stop it. So let's go into Blu-ray, activate multi-roll. We're gonna try the Shizuku Shuffle. Like, we already have Engage in hand, right? And we don't have three spells, so we don't get maximum value. To reset, we know it's probably a probably unchained trap or something. It'll destroy it. Does something stupid. Mystery card. We know that's another unchained in hand. We draw Ash. Go on a Green Ray. Keep poking. Boop. Just do damage. Fill our graveyard. Send out the so We don't want to destroy it. Go on Yellow Ray. Yellow Ray says no attacky. No OTK. No OTK. Go on a Blue Ray again. Add another engage and then try to make for push right. But we're fine. We got the trifecta of hand traps right here. We set another one. 
Eugene Kali. Boop, 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 ghost belly. We go on guy. We're gonna go with jamming wave. I'm gonna YOLO. They have it, they have it. No, it's torrential, pretty good. Good, good hit, good hit. Draw a call by to negate that if we need to. We're gonna steal, do some damage. Probably why, why didn't you summon another one? Well, maybe it could be another torrential, who knows? <laughs> right? We're gonna send that. Set the call by. Set the ngag. We're good. Kevin, why didn't you search uh Widow Anchor? That's fine. I mean, they're only at 2k. We can easily search Widow Anchor anyways with Ngai. We know one of them is a bound one chain, Mr. Card. Uh, I guess we lose to Harper's Fetty Duster since we have no real follow up, but you know, Maxi, Ash, Ghost Bell, Nibiru, we're, we're gonna deal with it, don't worry. Unless it's Cross out. We go Dark Necrofear, uh oh, poo pooed my pants. Uh, That's a very hot take for them to run, it's very scary, right? So I guess uh, Bakura, we're playing against Bakura. They boop uh, Blu-ray. Remember, never do that unless you know you can negate the summon. Otherwise, I'm just going to tag out into Blu-ray. Get more advantage. Right? Another Blu-ray. We just search for a Widowmaker anyways. So now we have a steal and that's probably gone. On to the next one, huh? I'll let it play out. Yeah? And you pack tops again. MVP. Add that just in case. Doesn't matter. We do Cyclone. Cyclone doesn't destroy, remember? So the trap doesn't, or whatever. Unchained doesn't get the effect. Feels bad. Boop with their own monster. All right, on to the next one, which I think is more interesting. All right, welcome to the last one of these quickies from my plat four, I think, to plat three. Maxi, Ashy, Washy, Rosie Donald, one Nibiru, one multi roll. All right, is he gonna play against Trap Gate? Kit, that's the Ash target usually. You got Gamma, <laughs> Gamma, Gamma, Gamma. Hey, Gabble, Gabble. We can chain Maxi, please no Ash. Please, please, no Ash. No Ash, good. So we're gonna summon that in attack mode. We chain we get called by, Kit's gonna pop off, said Nerval. Nerval, Nerval, Nerval. Boop boop boo. Nervous, nervous, nervous. Karas. Or is it Karas? You know like Arceus, some people say Arceus. Like ours, but no. Anyways, uh, they're gonna go into the link. They're gonna keep popping off. It's crazy. We're gonna get the trap. Revolt, revolt, revolt. Very annoying. Three. Pitch Fractail. Pitch another kit. So they got four, right? We're gonna nib him. You chain Maxi. <laughs> right? And this is a fun fact, right? Uh, technically, this token isn't sequential, right? It's a den. So that means you got two cards. So. Two cards. Two whole cards. That's gonna make 300, whatever. Now, you could say, Kevin, why did you do that? Why did you do that? They would have just had trap. They would have just had uh, deal with this thing. And I guess uh, that was it, right? I just had to deal with. Well, these two were probably gone. All I had to deal with was just a trap to get Rugal. Now, was it better to have Nib and threat damage with this? Or. You know, get max seed on our turn and basically quit anyways. But I mean, we had called by, so we could have just stopped the max seed. I don't know. Decisions, right? Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Clearly, it kind of didn't for us, right? Did you go spell? So at least that's good. Uh, we're going to go for Rosie O'Donnell. Well, they should have probably just chained trap right there and banished my Rose. And then probably be screwed. So we're going to banish the token. And again, they're kind of like, I guess, uh, feeling this out too. We're going to go Green Ray. We're going to chain Revolt. We chain Ghost Spell, very dangerous play. We play hardcore into call by. Luckily, it goes through. Fortunately, our we're not getting punished. <laughs> right? We go into Green Ray. Green Ray is gonna send Ray, uh, Ray cause no Ray no players. So I always say I'm not a rapper. Right? Going to Blue Ray. That decision set one. Kevin, why did you set that there? I was being very greedy, right? I was being very greedy. You know what? If it is something that's not imperm. Then we get a free um, negate, you know, this card will be useless. Hope, like maybe it's another Trabigate Revolt, right? It's once per turn, maybe they could have done it again. However, uh, remember that Ghost Spell technically, it says uh, you get the activation. But you know, whatever, it's once per turn, right? So, uh, we're gonna search and guide, we're gonna pitch call by, or set call by, we hold this in hand, just in case we play around Harpy's Fat Duster. We have too much PTSD. The top deck of Tanky is pretty good. Going to Fractail. 
Obviously, you want to call by it because that's cost. We're going to chain cross out. So, here's the point where we do this. Right? Or not yet, right? Because we want them to banish first for cost. Alright, you're going to banish for cost. Now we're going to imperm them. Uh, <laughs> oh man, we're getting punished. We're absolutely getting punished, right? I was doing greedy chat or gang. I was being too greedy. I was like, you know what? If it ain't imperm, it ain't imperm, right? But you know, they're, they're probably thinking the same way I do. I always said you're imperm in the middle. So obviously they're going to banish out Ray. Ray comes out. Battle phase. Now, you're probably wondering, Kevin, you're going to yell at you, right? Why didn't you stop this attack? You get, I guess, lose less high points. We're not going to die, first of all, right? And remember, right now we have one uh, spell in our in our graveyard, right? We have an Engag, we have Multiroll. Multiroll isn't necessarily going to give us three spells in Grave. And then Engage is obviously going to go off, so we don't need to realistically send anything um, from our hand to the graveyard. Unless we draw a spell or something good, right? So, the decision is... Remember, like, well, how do you get rid of this, basically? Because if this stays on field longer, it's just going to threaten us over and over and over. And remember, since this gets bopped, we're not going to have body on field. So we need a way to get rid of it. What's your best option? Uh, probably Widow Anchor, because that can go two for one, right? Widow Anchor. And remember, Widow Anchor can't steal at the moment. And even with Widow Anchor, we can't attack because if we target that with Yellow Ray, Widow Anchor can't attack. Because remember, it says until the end of your opponent's turn. So technically, you can't attack with this. Uh, because it was, you know, affected by Yellow Ray. Fun fact, right? So, there you go. Boop, 15. That's fine. The other play, I guess. Oh, well, doesn't matter. They're gonna be greedy, go into Fairy Jet, so they can add a uh, kit. This thing is special summon itself, so they can add, or at least draw a card. We're gonna imperm them. So we know they have kit, basically does nothing. They know we have a guy. So we're free to basically pop off. And I just quit. You know? <laughs> One thing, right? One little, little thing. The imperm got, got me a little sweaty, but that's okay. That's okay. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Roast me for my plays. Leave a like, comment, sub, all that stuff. If you want to be a member? Cost one American dollar. Uh, anyways, thank you for watching, everybody. See you around next time. This is my outro song for free YouTube monies. Give me some likes and support me, please.